So this is where we slept last night. It is absolutely gorgeous. We've got our own little private driveway right down to this little parking area and we're right by the stream. It's gorgeous, super peaceful. Good morning, you guys, from Van Life. So we've been living in the van. Crouched over trying to talk to you guys. We've been living in the van for about two weeks now. Still getting used to everything, trying to make it more comfortable, adding things. But it was important that we moved in so that Pippa could get used to living in it. <laughs> I just want to say that I love how you guys are so concerned about Pippa and like where she's going to go, her litter tray, her little bed. She enjoys being in bed with us and her litter tray. We're obviously going to give you guys a full tour soon, very soon, once everything's done. Her litter tray is in there. Don't mind the poops. Um, so she has this little thing to go in. We're gonna put this on there. And don't mind me, I have the sniffles right now. It's a little bit chilly. Normally we wouldn't stay in New England during the winter months or like late fall months. If you guys have been following us for any time, you know that we love the warm weather. We love to chase the warm weather and follow it. But we have a wedding tonight, so we are staying here for that wedding. Jamie also just did his driver's test yesterday. Uh, so we're waiting for his driver's license to come in the mail. He has an English driver's license, so we had to transfer it to Connecticut finally. With COVID and everything, it was hard to get that done. So we are waiting. We still have seven to 10 days until that comes in. So in the meantime, we're gonna get projects done and kind of show you guys what we're up to. Today I have a really fun project before the wedding that I'm gonna get to. It is spicing up the kitchen, pun intended. Look at how pretty it is in the fall in New England. So pretty. All right, what are you doing, baby? I am making these funky trim pieces to neaten up the front of the van. There's like these weird curves. I mean, you know, the vehicle always has curves. I'm just trying to make it look pretty. I'm trying to figure out a good solution. So I have this beautiful piece of copper here that Jay cut down for me to the size of the kitchen backsplash. And I'm gonna sand it down before starting the patina process. Just using 220 grit, just to light sand to get like the oil off and stuff. Now that that is done, I'm gonna show you the little container that I made for these guys. All right, so here's my box. This is the first box I've ever made and it's falling apart, but that's okay. Not everyone in the world is like Jamie. I'm just here to make you guys feel better about yourselves. So I'm going to put the ammonia here, raise the copper on these pieces of wood and then cover them up and put salt on them as well. What could go wrong, right? All right, I'm just gonna put the ammonia in these caps. In all the videos I saw, it was always like small pieces of copper, so you would just put them in like Tupperware, but obviously these pieces of copper are way too big to do that. So, let's see if this works. All right, so I promised you guys an update on the recirculating shower. So I tested it out, some things I wanted to change with it. So this is what the UV and the three-stage filter system for the shower was before. 
And as you can see, the in hose and the out hose is only this like quarter inch hose. So I think this is meant for like water filtration. So like pressure isn't that high and like gallon per minute rate is really low. So this would work for that application, but it doesn't work for pumping out and filtering five gallons of water for the shower. So instead we've upgraded to the three stage filter system from Avery Water Filter Store. And this thing is way better. So it has half inch inlet, an outlet so this will allow for a much higher water flow rate so instead of having these cheap quarter inch pipes coming in and out of the system we're going to have half inch pex pipe with a half inch in and a half inch out so if you want this setup go visit the link in the description rv water filter store this whole setup is, is definitely the way to go i should never have done this in the first place and then this uv filter is just tiny so i'm replacing it with this chunky monkey ready for the size difference so we're going from that to this again with half inch inlet and outlet so let's put it in all right swapped them in and this is what the final install looks like water comes in through this bottom pex hits a one micron filter 0 0.5 micron filter and this third filter which i'm not 100 percent what it is and then it goes out of this side up enters this uv filter and then the lamps right there and water then goes through the uv filter out the uv filter along here and back into the system i also installed a little shut off valve before this filtration system but i just ran the shower did all my leak checks and this thing is good to go so there'll be a link in the description where you can get this triple filter the uv filter and also i have a complete guide on this whole recirculating shower system so you can have a recirculating shower in your van all right it's getting dark i gotta clean up oh how cool does this look so the uv light kind of comes through the pecs looks sick look how do you see it looks like a jedi lightsaber <laughs> To let air in because that's like how the patina forms it's through oxygen i'll check on it and let you guys see it i think we'll probably leave it for a few days and now that that is done i'm gonna go on a run and then we're gonna get ready for the wedding Ooh. all right i just got back from my run jay just finished doing some little projects been a busy day but it's time for our friend's wedding so uh i think we gotta look a little better than this don't you think jay <laughs> all right Better. That's much better. I'm actually not fully ready yet, but the best thing about having your home with you is you can get ready while you're on your way somewhere. So. Let's go! Whoa. My friend Joe was the one getting married. He was my coworker from the last job I worked before going full time with YouTube and our own freelance work. A lot has changed over the years, but it's always comforting when your friendships with good people can stay pretty constant. So we're about two days later, and this is how it's turned out. So we're gonna wait for it to dry, and then put some metal clear sealer on it. Here we go. After two layers of clear coat, Jay put the copper backsplash up. It's been really nice finishing up those little projects that you don't think about during the build. I think when you move into a van or somewhere new, you must spend the first month making it comfortable and more fit for you. With each project you complete, the more it feels like your home.
Who knows what this is? Ooh. So this is bigger than the one we had in the bus. Go bigger, go home, right? <laughs> there we go. Wow. Then I tighten the bolt so it doesn't swing like this. That's awesome. awesome. So then we'll watch it in bed. Literally the whole watch rain. It from the front. And then we work swing it away. Like that. And you work in bed. Work in bed. Big planet. It's huge. Well, I kinda like it. I think no, I think it's good. That's what she said. It's a good size. For the rest of the day, we're gonna go enjoy the outdoors, beautiful fall day in New England, and ride my bike on the road for the first time six weeks before the race. <laughs> so I've never, obviously I've ridden a bike before on the road, just not a specific type. And you know what I was thinking, Jay? What? How far we've come, like the first bike ride we took in the bus, remember? With my like squid helmet. Yeah. And now we're like... Now we got all the gear. Now we got all the gear. Still no idea. Still no idea what we're doing, but pretending like we know <laughs> and figuring it out. So we'll try to get some shots of this beautiful New England weather if we can show you guys. Here we go. Guys, isn't this cute? We have matching bikes. With the same bikes. Here. I reckon we're about two hours in maybe. Kelsey's been crushing it. Look at her go. Honey, like I know what I'm doing. She's been riding as good as she looks. <laughs> the bad first ride so I was thinking today's Halloween and I was thinking it would be fun to hand out candy from the van but then I realized every parent spends like their whole entire lives telling their kids not to go up to the van with candy so I think we're just gonna go trick-or-treating with my niece <laughs> instead hi everyone and by the way Took two tumbles trying to get that last shot, so I hope you guys appreciate it. <laughs> Anything for the shot. <laughs> it wasn't bad though, only two falls. Great success. Ooh. What is that on my face? Is that just a shadow? Oh, I think that's just bags under my eyes, so that's good. I'm gonna show you the little container that I made for these guys. I love how I'm talking about them like they're human beings, but I'm not. Oh, yeah. This mother, I don't think it's this. David wants to go to the kale paper. Oh my god, this is good. Oh, he did it! 